We've had many questions and inquiries about using movement, functional movement systems, as a textbook. Now, those inquiries have come from both exercise educational programs and, and formats and clinical or rehabilitation educational programs and formats. So we've had inquiries from, from strength conditioning and personal training education scenarios and chiropractic, physical therapy, and sports medicine. Here's, here's my, my two cents on that. That was our intention. We wrote this book so it would have a textbook look, feel, and index because we realized there's, there's a little bit of a paradigm shift going on. The question is, do you create a class around the movement information or do you use it as a, a resource? And I think one of the most important things we can deliver right now at, at education is giving the student uh, problem-solving examples. In physical therapy, for instance, we'll have a, a neurological uh, class and an orthopedic class, and those classes do a great job at analysis, but at some point, I think we expect the student to synthesize both the neuromuscular information, the central nervous system information and, and therapies, and then the orthopedic information. Likewise, in an exercise education, we learn uh, exercise physiology and biomechanics, but many times the metabolic load or the movement load is more important, and they vary depending on the problem that we identify. So introducing screening in exercise education and introducing both screening and assessment of movement in clinical education create a little bit of a paradigm shift. It allows the, the professors and teachers who are absolutely supposed to create an analysis-based uh, education, it still provides the student with that synthesis at the end. So once you have embraced the rules of exercise physiology and understand kinesiology, biomechanics, and, and in clinical, you understand uh, neuromuscular system, motor learning, putting that all together in a practical uh, and efficient format so we can dispense better rehabilitation and better exercise programs is what movement's all about. So I think it is a textbook, I think it is a resource, and I think it's definitely something that today's uh, educators should have in their arsenal. We want this book to make the other subjects in exercise and rehabilitation play better together. Many times uh, the education is compartmentalized, but at some point we, we need synthesis and, and problem solving, and that was the intent of this text.